I'm standing in front of the now world famous Connected Tree, which continues its tour and has landed this week in Vegas. I'm joined by Mikael Lundqvist. He's here to tell us more. Mikael, so we can see that the, the tree is still grabbing the headlines then. Yeah, it's still generating a lot of attention. People think it's funny and they like to interact with our tree. Here we have an example of something surprising that you can do with today's technology. For those people who haven't had the chance to experience the tree yet, just explain, just remind us how it works. Well, like all of us, this tree exists both online and in the real world. So you can either come here to CTIA in Las Vegas and touch the tree and play with it, or you can go online and read a story to it, just the way you would interact with any of your friends. Since the tree was launched at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona earlier this year, what kind of reaction has the tree stirred? Well, there has been a lot of interest both in like this specific sensor technology and ideas on how to build on with that, but also on the general idea of giving you space to think and opening your mind. Where does the tree go from here? What happens now? Well, who knows? Maybe we should have a whole forest of trees. Maybe we should put this sensor in th something completely different. Or maybe we should just look at some other part of technology and make something fun with that. Thanks for joining us, Mikael. Thank you. We have to say a special thank you to the tree. Nature welcomes you. Nature welcomes Glad you, it you. says. Glad to meet you. Glad to meet you too. Thanks for watching. See you next time.